Good morning. Craig Howard here. Happy to be with you. I didn't go out in the snow today, <laughs> but I wanted to take just a minute and give you a thought maybe you hadn't thought about. Give you a thought about what it meant for Jesus to come to earth. You know, we know he came to earth. We know he came to earth to die, to pay the price for our sins. We knew that was a, an extreme thing. But did you ever think about what it meant to go from being the Prince of Heaven, Creator God, to now being a child, a baby, a fetus? It would like us becoming it would be like us becoming a slug. I mean, he gave up his identity. He gave up his he gave up everything about who he was. He gave up his ability to take care of himself. He gave up his ability to feed himself. He gave up his ability to speak and to communicate for a time. I don't know if we often think about, you know, we all we always talk about the sacrifice of Christ in coming to earth and dying on a cross, and that was an enormous sacrifice. I, I in no way want to, to try and minimize that. <clears throat> but have you ever thought about what it meant to give up everything else, to become a newborn baby? How many people? Who, who, who else would be willing to do that? How significant a sacrifice is that? The Bible says in Matthew chapter 1, beginning in verse 18. Now, the birth of Christ Jesus was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not wanting her to be made a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, Son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit, and she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. I think, I don't think we realize, I don't think we acknowledge the fact that Jesus didn't have to come as a newborn. That's Peanut wanting out. She would just keep it up if I didn't. <laughs> Jesus didn't have to come as a newborn. He didn't have to come as an infant. He was God. He could have done whatever he wanted to do. But he wanted to experience everything that we experience. He wanted to know our lives in ways that he couldn't know any other way. And so because he loved you and because he loved me, he gave up everything. Should we celebrate Christmas? You bet your life. Should it be all centered around selfish endeavors? Absolutely not, because everything about Christ at Christmas is about sacrifice, about selflessness about love. Think about that. I have a busy day today, as I'm sure you do. And uh, I just hope that as you move deeper into the Christmas season, that your heart will be moved in every way to put Christ first, just like he put you first, and then to serve others as he came to serve. God bless you. Lord willing, I'll see you tomorrow.